Another football Saturday in Neyland Stadium, and once again, the Tennessee Volunteers play host to a highly ranked team. This time, the South Carolina Gamecocks came calling. Let's get right to highlights and Bob Kessling's call. Tyler Drummer to hold. Snap down, kick on the way. Polardi spins it for the uprights, and that kick is good. On the left tip of Shaw out of the shotgun. Shaw gets the snap, back to throw, sets up. Bang, he goes down back at the 23-yard line. He waited too long, and it was Marlon Walls who planted him back at the 21. Darius English is into this near defensive end for him. There's a little counter play up the middle, and Marlon Lane gets a first down as he goes straight ahead inside the 45-yard line down to the 43. Worley with two wide outs to the left. Young's in the slot that way. Carolina showing blitz. Little quick slant, complete down to the tight end on a seam route down inside the 20. Worley gets the snap, takes a handoff, rolls right, throws the pass into the end zone. It's going to be caught. Touchdown, Tennessee to Pig Howard. Justin Worley did a play fake, rolled out to the right, found Pig Howard in the end zone, and Tennessee takes the lead back. Second and 10. Shaw out of the shotgun. Bad snap, but he gets it in trouble, and he's going to be sacked back at the 22 yard line. It was Jacques Pass Smith and Danny O'Brien who teamed up to get him another bad play by South Carolina. Worley waits for the snap, takes a handoff, rolls, sets up, fires a long out. That pass going to be battered away and caught. There was a collision right when the ball got there, and Marquez North able to wrestle away from the South Carolina defender for a pickup of 15. And be good to have a guy that's 6'4", 215. Hand off, tailback, up the middle, Neal breaks it to the 20, to the 15, down to the 10, and Clowney throws him down. Worley gets the snap, tries his tailback, he'll walk in untouched to the checkerboards. Touchdown, Tennessee. The right side of that Tennessee offensive line walled everybody off, and Rajon Neal has the touchdown, and the Volunteers now lead 16 to 7. So the Volunteers took a 17-7 lead into the half. Tennessee's offense picked up steam in the second quarter, but the volunteer defense was the big story, holding one of the nation's most talented offenses to just seven points. But the third quarter belonged to the Gamecocks as they scored 14 unanswered points to take us to a 21-17 lead. We'll pick up action in the fourth. Once again, here's the Vol Network's Bob Kessley. Shaw takes off running right, looks, looks. Ducks it, gets away from one Tennessee player. Now not the second, slam down at the 47-yard line. A loss of two as Connor Shaw could not find any place to throw it. Marlon Walls finally slams him. Patterson goes in motion. They fake to the tailback. Worley winds up, going to throw long down the left sideline. The pass is going to be caught from the left hash. Step down, kick on the way. That kick is up and good. And it's a one-point game with 10-11 to go. Davis out of the shotgun, back to throw. Shaw back to throw. Big pressure, steps up and sacked. McCullers got him at the 10. Carolina showing blitz, here they come. Worley stands in there, looks, fires long down the left sideline. That pass is going to be caught. Down at the 25-yard line. The pass complete to Marquez North. Unbelievable catch. Carolina one had him double covered, and he comes up with a one-handed catch. A 19-yard field goal attempt from the left hash mark. There's the snap. There's the kick. There's the win. Michael Polardi boots Tennessee to a 23-21 victory over South Carolina. The Tennessee Volunteers celebrating all over the field from goal line to goal line. Butch Jones gets that signature win. Tennessee has knocked off a ranked team as the Volunteers on a field goal by Michael Polardi win 23-21 over South Carolina. It was an unbelievable finish for Tennessee today as Butch Jones got his first SEC win and win against a ranked opponent as Tennessee's head coach. There will be a lot of celebration on Rocky Top tonight. 
For UTSports.com, I'm Sarah Mitchell.